Welcome to episode number nine. Why am I wearing these headphones? I mean, why am I wearing these headphones? Because I just got them. You have to listen to these. These are awesome. Here, try it on. Wicked. These are the Bose over the ear headphones. Over the head headphones. Over the head headphones. Over the head headphones. They have range and clarity. They're comfortable. You don't even know they're on your ears. Wicked. Now I picked these headphones up at Future Shop. They're pretty amazing. I mean, there's not a whole lot to them, but the clarity of them and the comfort and it, they're so lightweight. Like after a while, you know, you're wearing them for a bit. You don't even know they're there. So, you know, if you want to dish out 229, they have them displayed at Future Shop, so you can go test them out. Bring your own uh, MP3 player with you, Zune or whatever, and uh, rock it out. Logitech's brought in a new speaker. They seem to be the king of speakers right now. Now, what's different about this one? It's a Wi-Fi support speaker. It's going to be able to connect to your current Wi-Fi networks or hardwired networks. It's got a great form factor. It's not too large. You're going to have access to your songs from your PC, Mac, or Linux systems. You're going to be able to stream internet radio through it. Radio.fm, Pandora, any of the popular ones. It's not going to support any of the DRM files. So for all you millions of people who download iTunes and Zune songs, it's not going to work for you. I don't know if this is a licensing thing or what, but... Whoa. The click knob controls and the general controls take a little while to get used to. While the rubberized edge with the shiny black back looks awfully good when shined up. That shiny back will definitely show a lot of fingerprints. It's definitely one of the best Wi-Fi tabletop radios out there. By now everybody's heard of Bluetooth or has a Bluetooth headset and loves the Bluetooth headset and brings it everywhere. But you still get that issue of wind, you still get that issue of just not the greatest clarity. Now you've probably heard of the company Jawbone. Now the Bluetooth Jawbone headset, the sound transmits from the vibrations of your jaw through to the headset. And that's why it's so clear. The Jawbone Bluetooth headset's amazing. Wow! It's amazing. It's incredible. It's amazing. The technology that supports the way that the sound is heard, just it's just out of this world. This is something that the military would have been using. And always just a little too large, and it didn't fit around your ear that well. The Jawbone 2 headset, this is where they fix their issues. It's not big anymore. It has a very comfortable piece that goes around your ear, so that's fixed. It's shiny, it's attractive looking. Definitely the best looking Bluetooth headset out there. I've tried different ones like the Motorola. I have the Apple one right now. I've tried Nokia ones. They've always been okay. But with the technology of the Jawbone put into the second one and making it smaller and sexy, man, this is a Bluetooth headset I'd love to have and I think I should get it because it sounds too amazing to pass up. Not that much bad about it. It doesn't have a rocker volume button. The LED light is just on top of the power button and that's Pretty much it. Despite its quirks, despite its quirks, despite its quirks, the Jawbone 2 headset is possibly the ultimate Bluetooth headset in terms of sound quality and style. Absolutely looks awesome. I can't wait to try it out. A universal remote is the final touch to any guy's home theater system. They've pretty much made a perfect remote with the new Logitech Harmony 1. It has a sleek design in terms of the cosmetics and ergonomics of it. Just like its predecessors, it's web programmable with Windows or Mac. The sharp LCD offers a touchscreen interface and touch sensitive buttons for navigation and on screen menus. It has an excellent button layout and design. It comes with a lithium ion battery and charger. The only issue with this remote, it doesn't have any RF compatibility and it's a bit pricey. But if you got to dish out $299, you got the money to buy something that's going to control your system just like it's meant to be? While well, it's missing the RF option, the Harmony One remote is probably one of the best, if not the best, universal remote out there. I have a couple of the older generations, and they work pretty good. But you can see the quality and the extra time and design that went into this one. Just the one. The Harmony One. This show has been brought to you by xboxsyndicate.com. Go over and sign up today at www.xboxsyndicate.com. Well, that's the show, everybody. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Craig Hillier, and you've been watching Tech Tech. Peace, everybody.